In today's video, we're going to be mastering the sweeps. from Soul Mavericks Crew. Subscribe if you are new, like the video if you like it. Also check out the playlist for my online classes. Um, the videos are supposed to kind of continue after each other, so hopefully it will help the people that are beginners going through to sort of mastery kind of level, at least of the basics. Um, these videos are tailored to my students, uh, Adrenaline Dance, what's up guys? But also um, I wanted to make sure that you guys uh, from my YouTube channel benefit from them as well. So yeah, check it out, check out the playlist. There's loads of different playlists on there actually, which kind of can consolidate what it is that you're trying to learn. I just want to say a massive shout out to those who have supported the channel. If you are interested in supporting the channel, there's a bunch of ways that you can do that listed in the description down below. Also check out the descriptions of most of my videos for any resources or just uh, or show notes, for example. Um, without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Okay guys, the first move we're going to learn is the helicopter. Sit like this. For now, you're going to put one hand down. Doesn't matter which way you're going to go, because we're going to do it on both sides. You're going to put your leg out, and this leg is going to swing across and you're going to change hands, like so. Okay, and now you're going to use your heel, press it into the floor for now, and you're going to step over with this leg. Watch this. Lift up, you see how I'm, I'm lifting up here? I'm using my shoulder and my heel. Lift up. Step very close to the foot, so all the weight is going to transfer to the ball of my foot. Place this hand down here, and now glide this leg around, back to this position again, okay? We go up and over, glide this leg around like this. Do that a couple of times to get used to it, because inevitably, the next part of the tutorial is that you have to jump. Be very careful to keep your body facing the front. You don't want to start turning with, with the move. And you can jump this with a little bit more power, okay? So now you saw that I was dragging my foot on the floor to, to practice just to get used to the feeling. It's, it's really important to get used to the feeling at the back as well. Because when we jump and we don't know quite where to land, that can be difficult. And I think that's usually a drawback with the helicopter. So let me do that bit first. You can do this by sitting on your bum facing me, okay? And then you know, put one leg out to the side. This leg should be closer to the camera, okay? Um, the straight leg should be closer to the camera, sorry. This leg is gonna step over like this. I'm flat-footed now. It's no good. I need to go onto the ball of my foot. So when I land, I have to land on the ball of my foot. I can do this by lifting up on this shoulder and placing this hand down as well, like so, okay? Now, what I'm gonna now do is my weight and my hips are here. As I swing this, I'm pushing my butt back onto this leg to come back around here, okay? So effectively, it's what I teach in a lot of my tutorials about the half position zero and the importance of that. So watch when I actually do it. I swing like this, I jump like this, and then as I release or lower myself down, I'm relying mostly on this hand and this leg. Watch, and back, you see? Kind of easy. It's harder, slower, I think. So don't be afraid to try it with a bit of a swing. But it's all about the swing, which gives you that lift. Okay. For example. Okay. Nice and easy. Excellent. Now you're going to apply the same teachings to the other side. Leg goes out. Swing round. Stop. Okay. From here, I'm going to transition back to position zero. I'm going to use a whip. And don't forget from my last class, which is going to be linked in the playlist all together. So I'm going to swing this leg all the way back around, like so. Swing and jump and hook. Okay? Swing this again. So not this. Please not this. Because it would just mess up your the beauty of your of your helicopters. Okay? Swing. And this way you can see this hip is ready because it's swung 
all the way around and under. So as soon as I release my arm, my hips naturally want to swing, okay? So when I release my arm, if I actively swing my leg, I have all that beautiful power that way. Same thing, swing, release. That's where the power comes from, okay? It's about using the hip and the elastic kind of, um, the way the muscles are, that elastic sort of twist. Twist, swing, and stop. Swing, and stop. Ah, oh, beautiful. Practice that before moving on to the next one. And there you have it, helicopter on both sides and to hook. You can now use this in your footwork as the hook is a common and familiar position for you to mix it in with everything else that I've taught you or everything else that you've learned from elsewhere. Now I'm going to show you the reverse helicopter. I have taught these two uh, combinations before in a previous video. However, where I want to take them today is going to be new, so I'll recap for those of you that don't have it and don't go back through the library of my videos and to watch them. Um, but then I'll add some new stuff on for those of you who have these already. So the familiar position and uh, we want to start from is a hook. Doesn't matter which side, we we'll start from a hook. Okay. Now this again is like a it's like a skipping rope. So the leg's going to go around in the reverse direction. So instead of coming around this way, it's going to go back around the other way, okay? Like so. Now, to do that, I find the reverse helicopters quite easy. Um, so you'll go from here, this leg will, will swing out, and as it does, you're going to place this hand in the middle, okay? Not to the side, in the middle. So watch, here will be my middle, because this is where my center is. When this leg swings out, that's now my middle, okay? Does that make sense? Now, obviously I've stopped the foot here, but you wouldn't need to. This hand now comes down while that foot's still swinging. You use this and voila, okay? With a little jump, I use that. I sort of, when I get to here, I press into the floor to lift my hips and sweep underneath. It's really easy. Um, takes a little bit of getting used to, it's a little bit fiddly. And then once you start getting comfortable with it, you can, for now, I suppose you can drag the foot on the floor the whole time, yes, sort of like this, get used to it, okay, same thing on the other side, from the hook position, okay, again, hand, supporting hand is going to go into the middle um, of, the, of your weight, so look, my middle is here, because this is where my two anchor points are, my, and once my leg swings, I'm going to take, put my hand in the middle, it goes like that, down, swing, like that, down, swing, and once you get comfortable, you take your foot off the floor, so the foot does not touch the floor, okay? Like so. Okay? And right, now, I guess it's quite easy to imagine what that hook change combination will be. It will be from hook, and it will be around, hook, around, hook, around, hook, around. Really try to make sure that it feels beautiful. And when it feels beautiful, it probably will look beautiful, okay? You want the swing to feel effortless and light. It shouldn't feel labored. Now these, they're really important to get um, because they help with so many other moves and so many other understandings uh, in breaking. So it's really important to get these two base things clean. And there you have it, the reverse helicopter. Yeah, the reverse helicopter. Boom. On both sides, with a hook. Boom. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now we want to combine those two together. Start from position zero, go to a hook, and now we're going to go to reverse helicopter, then to helicopter, and then hook. Boom. Ready? Reverse helicopter, position zero, helicopter, hook. Same thing on the other side. Reverse helicopter, boom, position zero, helicopter, hook. And now, obviously, without the stop in the middle, so the flow continues, okay? So, again, it's going to go, boom. And there you have it. Reverse helicopter and reverse helicopter to hook on both sides in a nice little combination. Boom. Or pattern, I should say. Pattern, a pattern repeats on both sides. Okay, little bonus with the helicopter and reverse helicopter for you to play with. Once you have them, once you have them, not really before, um, you can kind of do them one-handed. So, here, one, 
Boom, you see that? The whole thing one handed. Same thing on the other side. See? I like it better the other way. For me, that way feels a lot nicer. Something for you to play with, and then you can combo it with other movements or your other steps. Um, you don't have to sort of keep doing it until you fall over. Do you know what I mean? Like mixed it, mix it, mix it, mix it with all of the stuff that you have. So that's a little bonus one of doing the helicopter and the reverse helicopter, one-handed, one-handed. Next one, the Alien S equals sweep. So this one, I saw him do on a video he did, like a little, not a tutorial video, but it was a, it was an imitation of B-Boy the Game, which came out a few years ago, quite some time ago, which was on the PSP and the PlayStation. And he sort of did his own version, but the real life human version, which was really cool. And it was the first time, I've seen him do it in footwork, but I, did, I couldn't read it, because like, back then I was still in my infancy of breaking. And there was a lot of things I didn't understand and, and couldn't visually read, you know, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, he basically made this video and he did loads of different steps and movements and patterns and things like that. And they had the label, kind of like what the videos that we make today. But he did that way back then, imitating B-Boy the game, which was kind of the first time I'd seen like, video and lists of breaking sort of thing. Very similar to the pattern that we just learned, but it's with a rotation, okay? So, that's why I taught you the pattern, that one first, because it makes sense to do with this one. Guys, sorry to jump out of the video. Um, I basically made a mistake in how I was doing a move and how I was teaching a move. I basically downloaded the original video I saw Ness do years ago. And I basically taught what I thought I saw. And it's not right, so I couldn't let it go. I couldn't just post a video and have something incorrect in the video. So I'm gonna redo this drill. I'm gonna show you how I believe it should be done upon reviewing Ness's video, okay? Because there's a slightly different way to teach the move and a slightly different way to perform the move. So I'll show you the, the, the drill now, and then I'll break it down. So from here, okay, now the difference is, is that you have to start spinning on the ball of your foot after the um, reverse helicopter. So reverse helicopter, and once I get to here, I now use this shoulder to rotate and I place this hand down by my hip, which brings me straight round to the front before whipping into the normal helicopter. Okay, and same thing on the other side. Helicopter, when I get to here, this is, I'm gonna use the shoulder to rotate. Rotate around, and as I rotate around, sorry, as I rotate around, this hand comes down to make the speed change really quick, and then back to the front. And that way it doesn't look labored when I'm turning. Because even when I was doing it, I felt like it's good, but I probably wouldn't use it myself because it's, it's, it's hard, you know, it doesn't fit. And breaking, even though moves are challenging in the beginning, there should be a point where they feel easy, or at least most of the time they feel easy because that's what you train for. You train for that, for that ease and for that clarity. Guys, I had to do that. Obviously, there's another drill later where I extend, um, I extend this drill and add my own on top of it. But I had to do it, I had to clarify and I had to correct it. I hope you guys don't mind, um, and I feel better now that I've done that, because that's what it's about. I can't tell you guys to train in a certain way and then not hold myself to do it that way as well. Thank you guys, back to the video. Um, hook, that's the matter of side. Hook, unhook, keep the hand there, breath and drop. Hook, keep the hand there, up to position zero, and drop. Hook, wrap, 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 drop. Make sense? And there you have it. Uh, the hook, wrap, flow, drop. I don't know. Yeah. That's that one. Okay, check this one out. It's a little bit fiddly. It was even challenging for me, but 
but it's not hard, it's just, as I said, fiddly. Reverse helicopter to position zero first, okay? Reverse helicopter, position zero, okay? Don't change hands, we don't need to. The next leg, leg is gonna swing, wrap, and drop. Now we're gonna use our body to pivot to the other side, and then from here, this leg that swings out is gonna go straight into a reverse helicopter. That's gonna go into the middle, that's gonna go forward to get our butt off the floor, straight into um, a half position zero, okay? Watch, reverse helicopter, stay here, leg sweeps, other side, the same thing again, use your hips to come up, reverse helicopter, stay here, wrap, other side, reverse helicopter, sweep, other side, reverse helicopter, sweep, other side, reverse helicopter, sweep, Oops, change hands. You get the idea. Check it out. I love this one coming next. Go into a wrap. Wrap, drop down here, and instead of switching to the other side, you're gonna grab the foot, bicycle pumps backwards, bicycle, bicycle the legs backwards to thread, okay? Like this. I mean, for those of you that have never done a thread before, think of it like a pedaling backwards on a bike. So you want your legs to go in a circle and keep the knees together. Don't, don't bring the knees up, it makes it impossible. Everyone brings the knees up in class, even when I, I give the instructions. So try and imagine there's a magnet to the knees and they're attracted to each other and they stay like this. Just do that, just try and keep the knees together. Stop doing this, no, don't do this. Every time in class, most people do that. Um, I think even I did it, the same thing. It's just, it's just one of those things that are weird. You don't have to hold the foot at first, you can kind of mimic the hold and just do that. Once you're comfortable, like you can grab the foot like this for a solid, for a solid grab. Sometimes, I, like, cause I've had practice, I literally just tap here and I'll just do that, you know? It makes it a lot easier. So this is a thread, obviously. I'll expand on threads later. I have done some videos on them, but for now, from here, thread to here. Once you get to here, you're gonna just do the same thing. Bring it back in like this, go up, wrap, thread, back up, here, wrap, thread, back here, tap, wrap, and thread, here. Huh. Yeah? Okay. Starting to make sense. Starting to make sense. Starting to make sense, AJ47. Yes. Sorry, I gassed myself up there. Um, gassed is a UK slang word for excited. I excited myself. Ooh, okay, right, I've had too much coffee. Ignore me. Yes. I'm guessing you know what's coming next. We're gonna take the previous combo, what was it? Um, wrap flow, reverse helicopter, with the thread. Okay, that's what's coming next. That's what we can do. Should be relatively easy. Um, now, if you don't have the other two, go back and learn the other two and then come back and learn this third little pattern combination. I'm excited. All right, do you know what? I love doing this. I mean, if I could do this all the time, I totally would. If you would like to support the channel, there are ways that you can, listed in the link description. If not, don't worry about it, carry on. But um, it would help out, it's greatly appreciated. And um, it would enable me to continue doing this, you know, hopefully full time. I would love to do it full time, especially on YouTube on Patreon, um, no, not all, I'd like to do both, full time, yeah, set the bar, that's what I want to do, boom, full time, get me, all right, anyway, um, yeah, so we start from the hook, reverse helicopter first, reverse helicopter, sweep, wrap, thread, transition to the other side, reverse helicopter, reverse helicopter, sweep, thread, back the other way, now we'll do it a little faster, are you all ready, okay, from here, Ready to go faster? Round, two, three. Round, two, three. Round, two, three. Whoops, missed the thread there, but you get the idea. Excellent, now we're gonna add in the normal helicopter, okay? So that means we can start from here, from position zero. It's gonna go to the original helicopter, reverse helicopter combo first. Helicopter, reverse helicopter, position zero. Sweep, thread, hook, we'll transition to the other side, but we're gonna go straight into a uh, helicopter, then reverse. 
Here, helicopter, helicopter, reverse helicopter, sweep, the wind. Okay? Wow, magic. Now the combinations, you should learn pretty fast because you have all of the base. It's like Lego blocks. You have the first layer, you add on the next layer, the Lego blocks. Yeah? Get what I mean? Sick. Okay, I suppose the only thing left to do now is to include this with Ness's drill previously. So, Ness's drill starts from the reverse helicopter, reverse, turn to normal helicopter, hook, unhook, wrap, thread. We'll do the same thing again. Unhook, wrap, thread. And now this will bring us to the other side for reverse helicopter, turn, helicopter, hook, and then it can repeat. Wrap, thread, and again, wrap, thread, and then it takes us back to this side, if that makes sense. Guys, boom, 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 boom. I'm really proud of that one, actually, that tutorial. Um, I hope my explanation is good. It was, it's good, it's always good. Mm. Trust me, mm. self-belief, yes. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Um, if you like this longer form content, please let me know. It's helpful for the channel. Um, what would you like to see next covering in the classes? I'm thinking conditioning, but you guys let me know what you think. That's what I'm kind of leaning towards is that's conditioning time for you guys. Uh, so yeah, subscribe if you are new. Welcome if you are new. Um, thank you for returning if you are a loyal and long-term subscriber. Like the video if you like it. Uh, Adrenaline Dance students, I'm gonna catch you on the next one as well. Um, well, yeah, and then again, there's ways that you can support the channel down below, which you can check out for me, and that would be dope. But yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Blah, 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 I've said that already. You know I love you guys. Stay fresh, stay clean, peace.